What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovisic from Pixel Feet here. And in this video, we're gonna go over Facebook ads, special ad category explained. But before we get started, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. So what are special ad categories when it comes to Facebook ads? So special ad categories was a tool developed by Facebook when it comes to ads about credit, employment, or housing opportunities to help protect people on Facebook from unlawful discrimination. So depending on the country that you're running your offer in, uh, there's certain laws that you must follow uh, to run ads about you know, social issues, elections, politics, credit opportunity, employment opportunity, housing opportunity, or related services. So Facebook wants to make sure that you're following all the rules and you're not discri discriminating against anyone. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you what each category is. I'm gonna explain it to you and I'm gonna show you how to set it up correctly so you don't run into any issues whatsoever. So for example, I have this account set up here and I'm already running a local campaign. It's a small campaign for a, for a car dealership. And when it, you know, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get leads for financing a new lease for a car. So you know, I had to go in here and set up a special uh, category. So the way I did that I, is I went in here and I chose credit and I'm gonna walk you through all of this, but I want you to, to see get an overview. And what that does when you select right here, your special ad category, and you go into the ad set level, you're going to see that even though I have open right here, like open targeting, it's still blocked by Facebook on what I can exclude and not exclude. Like for example, I wanted to do a five, a five mile radios uh, for the dealership that I'm running these ads for. It won't let you, it's expanded it to 15 because they wanna make sure that you get a bigger area, bigger coverage to give a lot of opportunity for other people. Uh, so you can see in here that you get a little message that says postal code or zip code selection is unavailable. So they don't want you to discri discriminate against people based of, on when, where they live. So they forced me to use 15 miles as the minimum radius of any selected city, address, or dropped pin. Another thing that you're going to notice right away is that I cannot choose the age. I cannot choose the age. The age has to go 18 and up to give everybody an equal opportunity. Also, as you can see here, men and women is grayed out, meaning that all genders must be included. So you can see right away how my targeting is being handicapped a little bit by not letting me choose my demographic of way they live. They wanna make sure that I'm following the rules. So how do we set this up correctly? Well, when you go to create a new campaign, we go back to the campaign level here. Click here, I already have a draft here set up for you guys. I'll we'll go to edit. And then you're gonna see this window here that says special ad categories. So when you click down, it's going to give you the option based of what you need to do. All right, so if you're not sure of what this entitles or whatever, what, what does this mean? You click on the little box, right? So let's say credit. And then it, sa it says right here, see category requirements. You click on that and you can see all the requirements for credit to make sure that you're following the rules, especially in your landing page or your website, because guess what? If you don't follow the rules on the landing page or website, Facebook actually has uh, bot crawlers that go out and read your landing page or website to make sure you're following the rules. So if you're not sure of the rules that you have to follow, you have to read all of this and it tells you exactly what it is. So for example, in credit, it means that ads that promote or directly link to a credit opportunity, including but not limited to credit card offers, auto loans, personal or business loan services, mortgage loans, and long-term financing must comply with the advertising policies, right? Obviously. So non-discrimination is gonna give you this text about you can't discriminate about religion, age, sex, sexual orientation, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But most importantly, right here is telling you what is going to handicap. So for example, age, options are fixed to include ages 18 through 65 and cannot be changed. Gender, they are fixed as well. You cannot change it. Detailed targeting, some detailed targeting options, which may include demographics, behaviors, or interests are unavailable. So this really can screw you up a little bit because you can't do, uh, you know, very, um, what do you call it? Focused targeting, depending on what you're trying to get. So you can't target like people based on the credit cards that they have or their income bracket, you know, because they're trying to follow the rules. So that's an example. And you'll see that once you go in there and start messing around with the interest, you'll see that it's very, very broad targeting. Uh, location is gonna tell you, zip code, location, unavailable. Lookalike audiences are unavailable. So if you have a uh, lookalike audience based on a list, guess what? You're not gonna be able to use it. 
uh, you have to create a lookalike special audience from inside the ad set itself. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, custom audiences, be sure that your audience selections do not discriminate against people based on certain personal characteristics. So you can use a custom audience, but it has to be very generic. So basically, it's going to be like first name, last name, and email addresses, and that's it, right? There's no age or race or any of that stuff. So, and same with your creatives, it's going to tell you, hey, you got to make sure your creative is clean, that it follows all of our rules. Be sure that the words and images you use do not discriminate against people based on certain personal characteristics or exclude individuals or groups. OK, so basically it gives you the whole rundown of that specific category. So, again, depending on the industry you're in, you're more than welcome to click on any of this and it will give you the explanation like social issues elections and politics it's actually going to ask you for your id if you haven't verified your id it's right there so this business manager i'm not verified personally so it's going to give you this error right here where you have to uh, you have to complete the id confirmation process and it gives you the link uh for the id for you to do so you do that and then they'll verify your id in less than 24 hours and you'll be able to run ads about social issues elections or politics and social issues includes anything that's like you know uh lgbt related or anything like that that's really wishy-washy so don't freak out if you see this error just follow the rules and you'll be okay so now let's say you have set all your stuff up here and you want to use one of your lookalike audiences well how do we do that right uh, so we go in here let's do credit let's get rid of this get rid of that error we go to the ad set level and you're going to choose your objective as usual so let's say here it's going to be uh, lead let's do lead right here and then we're going to scroll down and this is very tricky you're going to go to create new right here because you're not going to be able to do it from the audience screen and you're going to click special ad audience okay and this is going to let you create a lookalike following all the rules of a special ad category audience so you can do it you know you select your source here whatever that audience is you know I have a bunch of audiences here so basically Let's say I want to do one, I don't know, based on a page. I will click in here. Then I will select the number of uh, audiences here. And then I will just select the country. And then create audience. And that is going to create my lookalike audience as a special ad category audience. So I'm going to click in here to show you guys. And boom, there's my special ad audience following the rules. Because what happens is that if you go to your regular audiences, it's not going to let you use it. So let's say I want to use my one of my uh, lookalikes in here. So uh, see, it's not even available. Like you can see it's special ad audiences are available. These are all my special ad audiences, but my regular lookalikes are not available. So this is why you got to craft the special uh, lookalike ad, special ad category lookalike audiences from here this button right here but christian what happens if i don't i don't have data for a lookalike audience as well and, and at that moment or at that case you're going to have to use your targeting but as you're going to see here targeting is going to be very very broad so it'll tell you right here some detailed targeting options which may include them blah 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 have been removed so you can't do like income you know what i mean like if you try to type in income it's going to say no we can't we can't show you that right so income tax that's an interest but notice that it's not giving you the behavioral data like top five percent uh, you know income of the country or you know top ten percent or whatever uh if i go in here and try to choose like i remember this one correctly like if i try to choose like based on the car brand because this is a car offer it won't even let me choose like ford or chevy which is crazy but it will let you choose something like cars or car dealership or used car car rentals but nothing specific so all your targeting is going to be very very broad right so keep that in mind when you're crafting your campaigns so you're trying to design your targeting around it and then after that the process is all the same once you figure out your targeting whether you're using your special ad categories lookalikes or interest targeting then you're going to go to the ad level like you usually do again make sure that um that your landing page doesn't have any language or anything like that that could get you in trouble that will make it not get approved uh, and make sure that your images follow all the rules and policies that do not discriminate against anyone out there when you're creating an ad of this type of special ad category
Guys, if you liked that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads and digital marketing in general, make sure to check out one of the videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.